So I'm Asden Barchi on the Bear Lake County Farm Bureau Board and the YFR Chair for our for our chapter. In the area, I grew up on a farm north of north of Montpelier in Georgetown, a hay farm. So we see depredation from elk in the winter heavily, as well as just an involved citizen. I know a lot of these producers personally were business colleagues and friends, and so this is an issue that affects all of us one way or another. So. Last winter we saw uh, excess depredation as a result of snowpack. This year I had an idea to just have Farm Bureau um, involved enough in our county to allow producers the opportunity to express frustrations and concerns along with questions as well as uh, give Fish and Game an idea of the opinion of our population and our producer base and give them a heads up on the resources that our county and our area may need to uh, substantially mitigate this depredation in the winter to Come, so that we don't have to relive uh, last winter's depredation. I think as uh, producers we value the importance of healthy wild game herds, right? Nobody wants to see the deer herd where it's at right now. Our deer herd, especially in this area, is very, very low. Took a big hit over last winter. And so I don't think the answer is get rid of the animals. We just want to see proper management. And so one thing I've always wondered, on winters previous to this one, you used to see deer on the edge of the roads going for salt, right? Because Idaho salts their highway. We salt our roads and so a lot of deer are on the side of the road in the winter eating that salt. Would a good mineral program be able to keep these deer off the roads? Mineral is a driver we know in the cattle market, the sheep market. We know mineral can be used to move those animals around. So. Could we take that same principle and move it over to deer or elk? I don't know. I thought it was a good success. I think we had a great turnout from our, our local community. We had producers and sportsmen, and I thought that that was an important element that the sportsmen added. And uh, I'm glad they were able to cut the meeting short and allow the real meeting to begin. And I think that's when um, producers are able to rub shoulders one-on-one -on -one with these representatives with the fishing game. And, and meet them personally and make those connections rather than uh, just kind of a classroom setting.